Hi guys, welcome to the new video of uh, series called Django with JavaScript. In today's video, we're gonna learn how we can create file upload progress bar. Uh, what do I mean by this is that as soon as user hits the upload button uh, with a media with a file, uh, we want to show some kind of progress bar to the user so that user is just not sitting empty-handed there and does not know what is ha actually happening behind the scenes so it's always a better approach and a recommended approach to show user how many bytes of uh, file has been uploaded and how many bytes are still remaining so we're gonna do that in this video so before that let me show you an example what i mean by this now if i have a form uh if i type it like this uh use title and submit a file and starts uploading you can see that i have the progress bar and the file has been uploaded to uh, see this in more convenient way i'm gonna uh use network and set throttle to fast 3g and let's test it out and because this is obviously in local servers so you know in a fast network it's gonna be pretty fast and you cannot see that so let me type it out again new title and use this file and starts uploading so you can see it starts uploading and we can see uh, in the console we can see what is happening behind the scenes uh, as the percentage are increasing file upload progress bar is also increasing and as soon as it hits the hundred we're going to receive a message from the server that the file has been completed so we're going to create this in this video and please guys do like the video and subscribe to the channel and whole code has been uh, hosted on a github so if you want that please comment it out and i'll give the link to the github repo that way who will be also helping me so yeah as soon as it will hit 100 uh, we're gonna see the message data has been uploaded so let's get started with this so i'm gonna start with a brand new project uh, so let's start typing out i'm gonna name it uh, let's name it uh, Django file upload let's move into this directory and let's also start an app start app I'm gonna name it upload you can obviously name it whatever you want so here is the file let's get start with basic django settings configurations that is i'm gonna register my app inside installed apps uh sorry about this upload let's also uh, complete the necessary configurations for templates import os let's see uh, here it is inside directories os.path.join bcir comma templates So yeah, uh, and let's run our app and see everything is working correctly. I can manage dot by run server. Um, let me bring this here. Yeah, so everything is working correctly. Now let's get started with our models. So let's go inside upload and models.py here. Class upload models dot 
model uh, let's give the title to the post model start care field let's give max length of 50 that's it and image model start image field now remember guys you have to install pillow to uh, so that image field works properly in your app uh, let's keep as it is let's keep it simple for now uh, let's give string representation return self dot title we will return self dot title only let's register this model from dot models import upload admin dot side dot register upload now let's run the necessary migrations to so that our model works properly make migrations okay migration is successful now let's migrate this model okay uh, i'm gonna create super user now only okay so super user has been created successfully now let's run our server let's open admin console a password now see upload has been created okay now let's create forms uh, django model form so that we can render this uh, form inside our template I'm gonna create a file named forms.py and uh, let's import model form from Django uh, Django import forms let's import our model also from dot uh, upload dot models import upload uh, I'm gonna name it upload form uh, forms dot model form uh, let's create a class meta uh, model equals to upload obviously now let's give the fields Let's see, I want both the fields title and image so that's it that's all you have to do inside forms.py uh, let's save it now for now just simply we're gonna render this form uh, inside the, uh, for the template so that we can see the form in the template so uh, I'm gonna use generic view from Django dot views dot generic view uh, let's name it home view uh, let's extend it to view View. create a override a function called get uh, sorry about that cell from a request 
form equals to uh, let's import our form also from Django uh, sorry from upload dot forms import upload form so upload form and let's simply return this form to the uh, sorry render this form to the view so return render uh, we haven't created template yet but we're gonna name it home dot html let's pass the context uh, form form uh, let's create templates also now so create a directory called templates and inside template directory we're gonna create a file home.html because we have already named it here home.html Now let's just get the context and see everything is working. Post. SRF token. Oh. Uh, we haven't set the URLs yet. So we have to do that also from uh, load dot views import home view so path view it's a class based view so we have to use this attribute as view name give it home only Now let's see everything is working correctly. I hope so. Yeah, so here is the form that we have sent from our views context. Now let's, uh, obviously you can use crispy forms to style your form, but we're, we're not gonna do that, do that in this video. Obviously you can do inline styling or whatever you want. Uh, what we can do is use as p so that forms are a little clear so yeah uh, for this course we uh, for this tutorial we are doing minimal styling so for uh, uh, progress bar we're gonna use bootstrap so I already have uh, boilerplate code for that I'm gonna use that only this uh, I'm gonna paste it inside form.html save this so let me bring uh, boilerplate uh, sorry code for progress bar progress bar bootstrap I'm gonna use this one, success one. So let's paste this here. Uh, remove this area twenty area value now and style. We're gonna uh, do it inside JavaScript. And uh, max also we're gonna remove this. see what's the result so here it is progress bar uh, gonna wrap, I'm gonna wrap it inside container container and I'm gonna also give it a class not visible 
So yeah. Now this is the progress bar. Let's hide it actually and we're gonna make it visible when actually user starts uploading the file. So style dot not visible display none. Let's see the result. So it's uh, gone now. Now I think we should get start with the uh, JavaScript. So I'm gonna use script tag. I'm I'm gonna stick to inline JavaScript and inline styling. You can obviously do the necessary configuration for static files and use static uh, and create a static folder and then create javascript folder and all that stuff but we're gonna sim keep it simple for now so let's actually test it out i'm gonna log uh working let's see if javascript is working inspect and yeah it's working now we're gonna get all the necessary fields that is form and our input field and all so let's get started with that uh, before that i'm gonna give id to my form let's give it upload form upload form now let's get this form in javascript const <coughs> upload form this document dot get element by id and we know id is uh, upload form uh, sorry load form now if we console log this form and let's see the result so log this upload form let's see the result and yes we get this so this is our actual form with all the information about the form now for getting the input field uh, if we if i open page source you can see that input field for image uh, here input type text title yeah this input type file id has already been given by django that is id image we're gonna use this id only id image let's open visual studio uh const input file document dot get element by id and id is this let's console log this and see the result <clears throat> so yeah, you can see we have that input field now uh now what we also want is that uh, progress bar we have uh, also want that progress bar so let's give id to our progress bar also id uh, let's give it progress uh, const progress bar document dot get element by id and id is progress let's log this also <clears throat> so we have progress bar now you can start typing it out so when do we wanna uh, show the progress bar as soon as user uh, we haven't created any button yet 
so let's create also submit button i'm gonna give it value of uh, upload and uh, let's give it a, a bootstrap class so it looks a uh, little bit beautiful uh btn btn primary let's give it so if we see now we have this so as soon as user hits the upload button or as soon as user submits the form we want to show the pro progress bar we want to show you progress bar to the user so let's get started with that let's suppose dollar and our uh sorry id for our form is upload form upload form uh, dot submit uh, create function on submit e and as soon as user hits the submit button we want to prevent default prevent default function will simply prevent the necessary uh, not necessary but uh, all the default uh, that's happened during some uh, submission of form that is page reload and page refreshing it will prevent uh, from that now I'm equals to dollar this uh, let's get the form data to new form data uh, this is the data that we will send to the backend. <coughs> hmm, const we get the media data information. So I'm gonna type media data equals to we have access to our input file. Uh, input file dot files. Input file dot files, and we want the zeroth position now we're gonna check if media data is not equals to null then uh, actually log this media data and uh, i'm gonna sh remove progress bar dot class list dot remove the not visible class from it so we can actually see the progress bar as soon as user hit the submit button so let's test it out see everything is working <clears> how <throat> with this let's say this arsenal flag the title of title upload so see as soon as user hits the submit button we have uh, make the progress bar uh, uh, visible and we also get the data from the uh, uh, we also get the uh, data media that we have printed out so yeah till now it's working so let's get ahead so let's get started with that so here i'm gonna do um, let's get started dollar dot yeah sorry ajax <clears throat> uh type is obviously post uh a url will come to this later now just simply use it as as or yeah we'll come to this later we'll see what we do data equals to obviously form data that we have created uh then data type is json that will send now implement functions so first function is before send uh the person keep it empty for now uh we'll use it we will use it later if we want 
now the function that we actually need is xhr function also keep it empty for now uh, then success function and then error what happens if error comes now as we are dealing with images so we also have to uh, use cache attribute cache obviously false uh, content type false and process data false uh, you can obviously read about them more in jquery documentation so before moving to next part let's uh, finish up with our views actually so open views dot pi and override another method called post where we will handle where we will handle post request self uh, request so now if uh, request dot method equal equal post so get the form uh, upload form and get the data from request dot post and get the files uh, okay now if this form is valid so save the form simple, simple enough form dot save and if it is valid uh, send the JSON uh, and uh, return the JSON response. We haven't actually imported JSON response, so let's do that uh, from Django dot HTTP import JSON response. Uh, now return JSON response. Uh, let's return. Uh, sorry. Uh, mm, give it data actually data and message will be data uploaded now if the form is not valid else uh, a written json response with data only and message will be something went uh, wrong so yeah that's it that's all we have to do in our views.py so now our view is complete uh, let's get ahead with next configurations and next uh, logic actually so as we haven't created any another different view for handling upload uh, upload of the form so our url will be slash only this will work uh, let's come to xhr functions we have to create another constant uh, i'm gonna name it x uh, xhr actually xhr and it's new window dot xml http request uh, and then we want upload event listener so xhr dot upload dot add event listener we are interested in progress event listener uh, let's create an arrow function okay so now we'll log this see what is happening behind the scenes we also want to return xhr now while we are here 
let's also log the response from the server so log uh, a response uh, if error comes then also we'll log this so yeah now let's get and test this out okay so to test this out um uh, obviously we are on a local server so file upload will be really fast so we'll come to network tab and make this fast 3g so we can see uh, properly what is happening behind the scenes now let's get to the console uh, let's choose file i'm gonna choose this one and let's give it a title of title and upload it so it's still it's pretty fast but you can see we have this progress event uh where we, uh, where we have you know total bytes and loaded bytes and all uh, so total is 7753 obviously kb and type is progress so we'll use this to show our progress bar here actually and once the file is uploaded we have response from the server the data is up uploaded which we have sent from our view this data is uploaded so till now it's pro uh, working pretty uh, correctly so let's move on and let's uh, show the width of the progress bar as soon as the file are uh, files are uploading now while we are here let's also open admin tab and see if it's working or not uh, oh sorry if data is saved or not so yeah it's obviously saved here what we are actually interested in is the this loaded property and if length computable is true uh, that means the progress of this file or this media type can be calculated so uh, remember guys this has to be true for your file and then we can use this property loaded to actually know how much uh, uh, how many bytes of the file has been uploaded and how many bytes are still remaining so we can uh, we will use this sorry uh, so now uh, let's show the progress bar as soon as user hits the upload button so i'm gonna create a constant calculate the percentage of the file has been uploaded so i'm gonna name it percent progress and we can uh, cal no before that let's check if the file is computable or not so if e dot uh, length computable so that property i have shown you we will use that so if the file is uh, file length is computable then i'll create a constant uh, i'm gonna call it percent progress uh, we can calculate this by e dot loaded divided by e dot total uh, into 100 obviously and and let's simply log this out first and see if everything is working so i'm gonna log percent progress and let's save this and test this out so network is still uh fast uh sorry slow 3g so title is my title file is same let's upload this so yeah 100 and then data has been uploaded so for now we are using small file size but uh, once we have finished i'm gonna show you how with a large upload file size and then you can see it properly so let's see if yeah my title so yeah file has been uploaded uh, oh sorry and data has been saved so now once the data is uh, we get access uh, we have access to the percent progress so we can use it here so just remove this progress from here because we're gonna use it from uh, we're gonna 
you uh, uh, use inner HTML property and uh, use it in here we have access to progress bar so once the length is computable and user has uh, started the upload so we're gonna progress bar dot inner HTML uh, equals to now use back I'm gonna use back text for this and I already have this uh, code written out so I'm gonna copy paste you can obviously get it from github repo so if you want github repo comment it out um, I'm gonna give you the github repo link so this percent progress is this only uh, let's test this out now network is slow <laughs> uh final test choose file uh this haven't worked so let me check it why uh progress bar dot inner html mm -hmm let me see dollar percent progress spelling is same so let me check this guys and I'm, I'm gonna come back so the issue was apparently guys uh we have to you know use this progress class uh that's what bootstrap suggests and bootstrap tells so I forgot to add this class now when I add this class and I have tested it out it works properly it works uh, accurately now to test this out more uh, accurately I've also downloaded a file which is approximately 4 MB and I have already set the uh, you know throttle to slow 3G so we can test it out properly so i'm gonna show it to you but let me first delete all these data so we can see you know fresh so let me delete this also and let me refresh it out network is uh slow 3g and uh i'm gonna uh, call it final title so the image I was talking about is this so this is you can see approximately 3.92 MB I'm gonna use this and as soon as I hit upload button you can see it start calculating uh, slow 3G is obviously a pretty slow network so you know it increasing 1% at a time yeah. so you can see upload progress also now once this upload progress is full uh, you uh, you will receive the message from the server that up, uh, upload has been completed or the message we have given so let's wait for that uh, it's pretty slow I know uh, 75 76 and this is basically you can style it in whichever you way you want it looks ugly right now and I know that 9900 now as soon as it hits 100 we receive the message data uploaded and this data uploaded uh, message uh, uh, we received as soon as this uh, as soon as it hits the success ajax fall what i mean by this that as soon as uh, front end or client receives the success call this message is printed so what we can do here uh, we can actually you know reset our form as soon as the upload is completed so instead of just uh, logging out the response we have access to upload form so we can use this so we can say upload form dot reset and we can also add class to progress bar dot class list dot add we can add the class not visible 
again so let's test this out again and i haven't shown you i think the data yes so yeah this is the final title that we have uploaded and we have received it here now let's test this out once again and see if our form is resetting or not so i'm gonna use the title reset form uh, actually first refresh it reset form i'm gonna use different image this time a little less in size not little but a drastically less in size 185 kb and let's upload this yeah it's, it's uploading as soon as it hits uh, as soon as it triggers a success ajax all our forms have been reset uh upload progress bar has been uh make uh, made invisible so we cannot see that and that's pretty much it guys that's how it should be so thank you and see you next time and please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and like the video so that way you can support the channel also i'm pretty new to this so please show your support guys